Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Uh, this is a video for Cryptex 30 day painting challenge. Um, so this will be a, just a little showcase video. Um, I, I got the arms from Cryptek. They came in the mail, I think it was Friday I, I got them. So uh, what I just decided to do with those ones is um, these ones here were missing. If you remember from the previous video, you know, those little the little ones. So he sent me up. I think there was about six or eight arms or whatever. So um, I did these ones first, and then looking at sort of the the visual impact it had on the on the miniature, I actually broke broke these little. I don't even know where I put them now, but not that it matters. Um, these little these little ones. They were on in there, so I actually broke them off and um, put the other two arms on from a trigon, I think um, I think Cryptek was telling me they're from so yeah, he's uh, he's done um, the base is probably as far as I want to take it to be honest um, at this stage anyway, I'm getting um, some rippers from the ripper swarms from um, shit, I forgot <laughs> Nick, <laughs> sorry mate, uh, from Edic Beer, that's what I was trying to say, so I will be putting them, there'll be some PVA glue go around the bottom there, I'll mix with some Dark Angels green, just make it look green and slimy and um, that'll be about it, and cut that one, I was going to put a little ripper jumping out of there as well, so he's done. So that's one of them. The next one is my Farseer. So I got him finished, I think it was last night, I put the last coat of um of black on the on the lava. So this is this is meant to represent a psychic power. Um so yeah, he's pretty much done. All the all the lava base and everything's done. If I can get him close enough there. Yep. See, so all the lava and everything's done on the base. And um, I actually took this. I took this up to a fairly bright highlight, um, and then I didn't like it at all. It it just took away too much from the. Uh, from the Farsia, there was too many, um, too many complementary colours to be honest. The, like with the browns and the oranges that I put on his cloak, and then I had the oranges and the reds and whatnot going through the psychic power and the dragon. It just started to look like a big mess of orange and red, and it just it didn't work. So um, I dry brushed it black, then I varnished it because I kept wearing off the paint with my fingers when I was moving it around. Um, and then I didn't like the varnish on the black, so then I dry black dry brushed it a couple of more times with the black just to just to soften it and dull it down a little bit. But yeah, I think he works. I think he looks pretty sweet. I did the um if I can get in close enough there. So the blade's done. Just a bit of old school wet blending and whatnot on the blade and gemstones and all that are done on that one. So that's um that's pretty much it guys. If I can work out how to do it um because obviously the other miniature that I did for Cryptex competition was Idik Beer's Mantark on jet bike, um, but I don't have it here with me to put on the video. It's it's back in um, it's over in London, not in London, England. I've just finished work, guys. Sorry, so I'm just a bit um, de-stressing. But uh, yeah, it's over in England um, at its new home. Nick loves it, which made me a happy boy. Um, but if, yeah, if I can work out how to do it, I'll uh, put I'll put some showcase pictures of the jet bike at the end of this video. So oh, there you go, Cryptech. Great challenge, mate. Um, as far as pushing myself was concerned, very much so. I um, well, I mean, the jet bike pretty much speaks for itself when it comes to me pushing myself painting wise. I know everyone thinks I'm this big freehand monster and things like that, but I still have to work at it. It doesn't um, it doesn't come easily or natural. Oh, well, okay, it comes naturally, but it doesn't come easily. You still have to plan it out, and there's a lot of work to go into freehand to make it look easy. 
how's that sound um, and this is the these two miniatures here that guy and that guy uh, are the very first time I've ever used green stuff so I pushed myself to do some sculpting and, and to finally pull my finger out as it were and use some green stuff so that's first time I used green stuff was on the base second time was on his base third time was for the psychic power so that's the three times I've used it and all for this challenge um, yeah and I yeah I think I've only done three miniatures but I think um, I've done three miniatures to a to a standard that is exceptionally high um, you don't normally hear me say that sort of thing um, I usually just let my miniatures speak for themselves but to be honest the three miniatures that I've painted in this 30 day challenge have been pretty 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 high high standard to be honest um, so I know a lot of other people have, have busted out heaps of miniatures to you know a really high standard as well but um, yeah I, I would say that I have definitely pushed myself for this challenge um, and loved it I think it's been brilliant uh, the best part is is watching everyone else's videos and seeing what they've been doing um, and that's a it's a massive massive source of inspiration and motivation for myself to get in and um, paint up these bad boys so I actually I had set myself the goal of the jet bike and the farseer for this 30 day challenge because I thought the jet bike was going to take a bit longer but I managed to get him in as well so yeah I'm pretty happy with my results um, I'm sure everyone else would be as well <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you probably think it's crap who knows but anywho um, thanks for watching guys um, and you know if you don't mind you can share my videos around I'm almost at 200 subs so I wouldn't mind cracking that 200 mark um, whether I do a competition or not I really don't know because everyone's got a competition at the moment so but we'll see I might just do something else I might do something as well for 200 subs competition but now I'm just rambling because like I said I've just got home from work and I'm tired and cranky um anywho have a good one thanks for watching cheers bye